Hello, I'm Harold Green. Welcome to Hollywood Close-Up. We continue our show tonight with an introduction by Tawny Schneider to the man who guides us through each and every programming day on Channel 7. A voice you're no doubt familiar with, but a face you rarely see. The voice of ABC. If Helen of Troy had a face that launched a thousand ships, Ernie Anderson has a voice that launched a thousand TV shows. Meet the golden voice of ABC. Monday, it's those incredible kids rev up for a mini car race. Meet a tiny titan who pulls up to 13 tons of steel and a brand new feature of the world's most incredible boo-boos on That's Incredible. Then it's a voice it's one in a million, and Ernie's more than just good at Somewhere. what he does. He's a voice virtuoso, urging, hate, persuading, and selling. A super salesman in the world of voiceover artists. Angie Dickinson stars in three stories of love, hate, and jealousy. Ernie, when did you realize that there was something about your voice that was magic, that you'd be able to make a career of it? There was no big dawning. I mean, just... I didn't mean it wasn't like, ding! <laughs> hey, boy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, sorry, I hit the microphone. It's really an acting job, actually. It's a voice acting job. You know? mm -hmm. Fortunately, I don't have to put the makeup on and uh -huh. the thing and sit around and do it 20 times Lucky and do you. it this way and do it that way. And... Mm -hmm. Thursday, Auto Man faces a secret weapon when Los Angeles is programmed for disaster. Wednesday. I like that one. From the world of assassins comes the deadliest of them all. Where to, sir? Alias the Fall Guy. Then. I can either sing for him or sleep with him. A deal's a deal, but the dividends are worth it. His actor's sense of timing was developed in front of the camera as host of his own show. Here, aided by Tim Conway, that golden voice was beginning to ripen. Right down to the last delicious slice. It's a familiar, friendly voice. Always thought he was indestructible. Houston is dead. All starting at 9, 8 Central and Mountain. Whether for a commercial. Parquet margarine from Kraft. The flavor says... The other, another guy does the butter. Or oh, well, for one of a dozen world. ABC promos every day. Fantasy Island. <laughs> on Fantasy Island. And the Fall Guys, he's me. I'm the Fall Guy, you know. Professor. Oh, my new one, my new one, the one oh, I love most. Give us a new one. Otto Man. Oh. I love him. <laughs> That's so funny. Now, I see, we were asking you what makes your job interesting. Now you have a new voice. We yeah. show a new voice. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> but I don't think Otto Man is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Got a little bit of copy here for you. Let's oh, okay. see what you'll do with that. Sure. Give that a go. <clears throat> and tonight, a gambling cruise for charity proves a chancy proposition on the love boat. That was a great reading. Mm -hmm. Now, is that the only way you would Who ever read this? that copy? <laughs> this is dreadful, right? <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <clears throat> and tonight our Matt Houston machine. Hold up your cuffs and I'll shoot them off. Hey, what? Blue Thunder. And tonight on Matt Houston. I always thought he was indestructible. Houston is dead. All starting at 9, 8 Central and Mountain tonight. Time? Yep, no problem. No problem. To those who work with him, Ernie is, well, he's Ernie. Hotel. He's a perfectionist, his own best critic, and probably his own best director as well. Like most top voice people, he rarely auditions because his vocal Don't abilities are well known Why throughout not? the industry. <laughs> Told you not to say playback. His voice earns him over a million dollars a year. Soft, my wife and all my children. People say we have a tendency to look alike, you know. Off to another session. And if you get the feeling Ernie loves his job, you're right. Most voice actors do. And despite the fact that they buy against one another for work, there's an unmistakable camaraderie among them. What would you tell a youngster starting in this business? Get out of it. Get out as quickly as possible. Yes. Wouldn't, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes. There are enough yes. of us in here already. I know. He may not like everything he reads, and he often Where's suggests script changes of his own. But he knows his function is not to criticize, but to make a spot better. Ernie Anderson style. He's getting better. Harold Gould, Struther Martin, and Harry Morgan. Three guys in their golden years who can still get the lead out in style. I feel inhibited if I can't go. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, and uh, that's what I do when I'm uh, uh, get the microphone here. and uh, Nobody's there, and I'm going... Uh, I conduct. 
you know. What's the most interesting part of your job for you? I like to do it. It's fun to do it. You know, I mean, it's, it's fun to make it right and make it sound good. I, mean, you, I can't fluff it. You can't just go in and resonate and say, that's it, and get out of there. Tuesday, when Jack plays cat and mouse with Furley, he gets stuck with the litter. Three's company. And it's a night for dogs. Oh, Madeline. Next on Hollywood Close-Up, views and reviews. We'll recap this week's wonderful Academy Award winners. And we'll also sneak a peek at the taping of the last cliffhanger episode of this season's primetime soap, Dynasty. Thank you.